Philippine Red Cross Chairman Senator Richard Gordon said PhilHealth has not made any move yet to settle its 1.1 billion peso debt. According to Gordon, the PRC, which is running out of test kits, needs the money to procure its supply from a Chinese company. He explained that they will have to cancel a chartered flight because up to 8 billion pesos is needed for all the services. The senator berated the health insurer, saying it is reckless and has been in violation of the terms under their contract. The PRC chairman added that PhilHealth officials should be ashamed of themselves for betraying the vulnerable Filipino people. Meanwhile, the Justice Department ruled that PhilHealth has the authority to forge contracts with private healthcare institutions. But with regard to the advance payment made by the agency to the PRC months ago, the DOJ said it requires the approval of President Duterte. Sabi po ng uh, Secretary of Justice ng DOJ, with respect to the advance pay cash payment of 100 million pesos, um, the advance cash payment requires approval of the President of the Philippines. It is not clear from the documents submitted to us whether such authority had been obtained. But the DOJ declined to comment if the PhilHealth is legally obligated for the bills incurred by the PRC in COVID-19 testing. Well, there is no clear agreement yet as to whether the PhilHealth and Philippine Red Cross contract on COVID-19 testing will continue. The Department of Health is now coordinating with eight private laboratories to assist in the testing of OFWs and returning Filipinos to prevent further delays. For Surigao Representative Robert Barbers, PhilHealth is not obligated to pay the PRC due to lack of legal basis. As it seems, no, walang, walang basihan eh. The, pub, remember, ang pera ng PhilHealth ay public funds. At uh, hindi pwedeng gamitin yan basta-basta without appropriation or without any contract for that matter. No? The lawmaker also believes that the non-payment of overdue balance will not lead to the bankruptcy of the PRC. Reporting for News 5, Be and Los Baños, we are One News.